Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to get ready with me. We're going to achieve this makeup look and we're going to talk about all the goals that we are going to set for the makeup that we are trying this year. I'm going to set a goal for every category of the makeup. So if you want to see what are the goals and how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's get ready. I'm so excited since today ideally is New Year's Eve for me. I'm using the Refer's Hydration Cream as my primer all across the face. And this, as I said in my yearly favorites, that this is beautiful as a primer and I love, love, love this one. So let's talk about a few categories that I would be buying and which I would not be concentrating on. Uh, I personally feel I'm very, very good with brow products. I have my Precisely My Brow by Benefit Cosmetics today. It's in 4.5. I'm very good with brow products. I feel like I always keep like one high-end brow pencil as well as like two uh, drugstore options with me. Just for like video purposes, if I want to show I do have an option, but I use our brow products very often, but I do not like hoard brow products. Uh, I'm using my Believe Beauty Foundation. I'm trying to finish that off I'm at the very, very edge of it. Um, so I'm just gonna tap it and you'll see before blending it into the skin, I would go in with the concealer too, just because this is a tad bit darker on me. This is Tower 28's concealer. So that's basically for the brow products. For the primer, I mainly want to concentrate on the primers that I have. Uh, and I'm giving me like a aim of one or two primers, like new primers to buy for 2024. Nothing more than that. Uh, I feel like I can definitely aim on that um, and if I am like really really wanting it one or two primers would be really good um, I want to aim more on drugstore primers just because it's been quite some time that I've not tested out any drugstore primers and I definitely want to give them a try so that is Tower 28's concealer in the shade Pali I'm underpainting it just because if I use that on top of my uh, foundation, it's going to appear a little bit darker. But right on top of my actual skin, it doesn't appear to be much darker. And then now I can blend my foundation into that. And then moving on to foundations. I would not say that I will not buy any foundation, but again, I'm keeping a limit of uh, one or two foundations. Uh, nothing more than that, but if anything like super, super surprises me um, with the launches, I would consider it. But I feel like two foundations should be good enough, like one high end, one drugstore, because again, I think I have like 12 or 14 foundations open. And I definitely need to, definitely need to utilize them. And these are all like the numbers that I would buy. Um, I'm not considering things that are coming in PR because I'll definitely test out the things that are coming in PR. So that is our base done. Now let's set our face. And for underneath the eyes, I'm going to take my Givenchy prism lip powder with a powder puff i just like this powder underneath the eyes and for the rest of the face i can apply another powder i apply this very sparingly because it is pricey <laughs> and i want to i want to utilize it but sparingly see how smooth that is oh my god cannot get over this also trying to finish up the courses cloud set powder these are the products that i am keeping in my empties just because i want to i want to see if i can completely utilize this or not and i feel like this definitely can be utilized this is the cloud set powder in the shade comfy and i'm going to take that on the rest of the face um, as far as powders are concerned 
there are a few powders that are in my wish list like the luna beauty translucent setting powder that is basically what is in my wish list um, but i would be open to testing out more powders i'm keeping a threshold of two to three i'll, I'll keep three as a threshold for powders um, not saying that i do not have powders but i feel like last year i did not test out many powders um, I think I tested out like two, two powders in general. Mm, so I will give me a, a threshold of three powders this year. Then for the bronzer, I'm going to take my Hourglass Face Palette and I'll take the bronzer in this, this one. Really, really love that bronzer tone on me. It like warms up the face really, really well, but doesn't look like super warm or anything. And for the new year, um, let me again put a threshold of three bronzers this year. Um, it can be liquid, powder, whatever. But overall, I feel like three should be good. Let's see how this rolls. I'll do like a mid-year check-in to see if I'm on track or not. Or I'm completely off track. And you know when uh, 2021, I bought like all the blushes. And last year, I don't think I got many blushes. Um, I feel like I was like very, very good with uh, the blush purchase just because I, in my back of the mind, I had, a, you know, a voice telling me that, Smithy, you have like 10,000 blushes, utilize it rather than just giving it away, you know, or like just expiring, um, just sitting there. So I feel like I was very good with the blush purchases i want to continue that for 2024 too just so that i do not like over purchase uh, but again i would give me a threshold of two blushes this year i'm taking that uh, setting powder finishing powder and then just going over the edges of that bronzer and just melting everything in and then for the blush let's take this Dalton cream blush and this one is in the shade kiss on the chic which is like a pale pink blush and i feel like today would be great to put this just because i i feel like i will definitely go glam on the eyes since it's a new year's eve look i will i'll try to be wearable <laughs> and glam just because i am going to church and I don't want like a smoky eye. And this works really, really well on top of the powder, underneath the powder. For the highlighter, I'm going to take my Makeup by Mario's highlighter in the shade Golden and apply that on the high points of the face. Again, this is another product that I definitely want a little bit more pan happening and I can definitely see myself panning this even more i already do have a pan here but i want to utilize it even more and i will happily use this for the highlighters i'm keeping a threshold of two highlighters for 2024 i'm open to trying more highlighters i feel like last year uh, rare beauty highlighters as well as this highlighter took the show and i didn't try many things from drugstore I think I tried Milani or Flower Beauty, but it like a liquid highlighter, but was not like memorable or anything for me. Now, since we have that, let's move on to the eyes. Uh, I'm using my Alter Ego Eye Primer as the eye base. What plans do you have for the New Year's? Do you have any budget in mind that you want to achieve? Or do you have like numbers like me that you want to concentrate? I, for a fact, I feel like last year and the year before that, I had a threshold of using, uh, for eyeshadow palettes, a threshold of 10. And I, of course, being an eyeshadow junkie uh, and a fanatic, I definitely wanted to have like numbers uh, written down for me, just so that I don't like overdo it. Um, but I feel like that has helped me a lot. Of course, I've crossed the number 10. Uh, last year I did 12 palettes actually 13 palettes 
and the year before that also I did 13 palettes. So I feel like 13 is a good number, um, but can I do better? Of course, I will still keep a threshold of 10 palettes this year too to buy. Uh, and of course, when I'll be uh, getting more palettes, I'll use Pretty Grunge. I will go back and forth on Gourmand Girl Silent Night and Pretty Grunge. I just want to set my eyes with this because this is light enough. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is when I keep that threshold of 10, um, I feel like I'm not going over 15 palettes at least. And I feel like that's a good number. I try to be under 10 and I also would try to uh, purchase eyeshadow palettes mid-year onwards um just because i know that brands try and release palettes uh, like their best version of the palettes towards the end of the year um like when the holiday season starts and all and that's when i'm like drooling over the eyeshadow palette releases so i will be focusing more more on like the face stuff makeup uh like face makeup and stuff like that towards the beginning of the year and of course as the eyeshadow palettes come my way i'll definitely review it i will try to push the majority of the eyeshadow palette purchases towards the end of the year because i feel like that is when i fall weak on my knees for eyeshadow palettes okay i actually have three palettes in front of me i have gourmand girls silent night palette i feel like it'll go so beautifully for new year's and of course i do have the pretty grunge palette for me for like blending things and for i feel like if the sparkle is not enough i do have a depth minka palette because this is i mean sparkliness to another level and if it's some time to use minka it is new year's <laughs> mm, i feel like i should start with this lighter shade called heavenly from the silent night palette from gourmand girls did we cover bronzers i feel like bronzers also if we have not spoken about it um i can give a threshold of one or two bronzers uh nothing more than that i feel like bronzer is a bronzer and whatever works for me works for me so i feel like the threshold of two bronzers should be good enough uh for me to tackle 2024 I do have a lot of bronzers in my collection and I'm also planning to at least pan the L'Oreal bronzer. I have to give it definitely much more love. I've not been using this and I've been loving that bronzer so I definitely want to use that more. I'm very very good with setting sprays. I think I do have like three or four setting sprays and I'm good with that. Uh, I would not hold more setting sprays and if I utilize the setting sprays, um, I should be good. Uh, for mascaras, I will give me a threshold of two mascaras just because I do have a lot of minis and a few open mascaras also in my collection, which I definitely want to focus more on. Um, so that's where that stands. Now, let's do All Is Calm, this deeper brown shade. And let's start putting that in the outer corners. And then we'll slowly blend it down the crease. Again, I want to make it wearable but glam. So let's see where we land. I do not have anything planned up. We'll go with the flow. I just wanted to talk to you guys. I definitely want to focus um, a little bit more on the shots. I've been very, very bad at that. And that's mainly because I, I'm a talker. I love to talk about makeup. And when I get like anything new, I want to review it. I want to do more looks about it. And all of that cannot be done under a minute. <laughs> At least for me, it's very, very difficult to do it over like under a minute. And that's why I don't like focus more on like shots. But I want to. I want to concentrate a little bit more on shots. Uh, more focuses on like swatches you guys let me know do you like seeing my live swatches or will you be open to do to see like swatches maybe live swatches itself um in like a fast forward mode uh in a shorts format for the eyeshadow palettes and i only concentrate on the eye looks and review in the long format video i can definitely do that too or if you do like me showing like life swatches here when I'm getting ready, if you like that, we can continue doing that and I can 
focus more on other products in the short form content. I want to focus a little bit more on my Instagram uh, because I feel like my major focus has always been YouTube and I love, I love watching YouTube. That is what I do. I, I just love watching people talk and like applying makeup. That's how my love started for YouTube altogether. So I definitely want to continue it. I'm not taking anything away from it because I definitely, definitely want to con concentrate on that too. I'm taking all is calm again on my outer corners of the lower lash line too. Right there. I feel like I need a little bit more warmth, which I don't think I would get from this palette. But let's see. I want to take this black also because if there's a day where I can use the black, it's today. So let's do that. I'll take this shade Shush. Shush, right? Yeah. And concentrate that on the extreme outer corners. Deepen up the look. Tapping majority of the thing on the outer corners. To deepen the things out. And I feel like that is a great depth. Okay. I'm going to take this shade, which is Twinkle. I feel like that's going to be a little bit more neutral and mauve -y. let's see not much of a difference going back into heavenly shade and just melting the edges going into rise up from the pretty grunge and just melting the edges of the shade just to blend everything out. I'm starting on that inner third and then blending it out. Taking Fearless, this one, and just going around the crease with Fearless. Going into the shade Liberty this one and going over that on the lower lash line just to give a little bit more peachiness and then I'll go take the shade fearless again on the outer corners now I'm gonna take my NYX glitter glue for the eyelid and for the shimmers and let's see what we go through because I don't know Okay, I'm going to start off with the shade Ava, this gunmetal shade. And I'm going to take that first on the center of my eyelid. And I'm pressing it out. Look how stunning that is, man. That's just beautiful. And because it's that gunmetal shade, it has that, you know, that silvery gunmetaliness, but also perfect for New Year's. There you go. I love that. I'm just wiping off the excess from my eyes, from my fingers. And I'm going to go into this Rebel shade from Huda's Mercury Retrograde. This definitely has a little bit more like silvery, pinky, bronzy, goldy, whatever thing. And I'm going to just take that in the inner corners, mesh it with that gunmetal shade just to give it more dimension. Really like that. Oof, I love that. I'm just going to take that outer corner brush that we uh, took and going back into that fearless shade and hope. So fearless and hope. Just melt it together and just blending down the edges just so that the shimmer doesn't stop abruptly and it's blending into the mattes. That's so glam. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. The eyes are all done. I just finished it off with the Essence Matte Style Super Last Eyeliner. And for the mascara, I took my Big Popper Mascara from Wet n Wild. So that's what I have on my eyes. I'm going to tight line my eyes with the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Love. And then I'm also going to do it on my lower lash line too just to give a little bit more of the smokiness on the eye right there 
I'm gonna just smudge it out with the shade All Is Calm. There you go. Really love how smoky and glam everything is looking. To finish off the lips, let's take the lip liner, Makeup Forever lip liner in the shade Limitless Brown. It's more of a cool tone lip liner, so this helps. I'll blend it out with this Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Last Night. It's again a cool tone brown. And then just to lighten out the center of the lips, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick in the shade Sweet Tooth. It's super, super light shade, but it is a great mixing shade. Okay, so once that is all meshed up, I'm going to take my All Nighter Setting Spray. And then just set my face, press it in. And that is my final look. So let me give you a close up. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this New Year's makeup look with me. Of course, this is going up way after New Year's, but I still feel like you can see a get ready with me, a glam get ready with me. Whenever you want to get to glam, you can grab for this makeup look, right? <laughs> but yes, I definitely had a blast creating this look and talking about like a few goals that I want to keep for every category for the makeup, uh, for the makeup that is coming out this year. Uh, so that's all for today, guys. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this new year and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.